Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial in which we'll deploy a ZRC2 contract and this is also called a fungible token contract. This is similar to the ERC20 token contract that you would find in the Ethereum ecosystem. The specifications of the contract can be found on this page and I've linked this down below. You can read all the transitions, the procedures, the events and messages and so on that are part of this contract. In this video, we'll not look at the actual code will just deploy this contract. So in order to deploy the contract, we first need to copy the code for this contract and this can be found on this page. Again, I've linked down this page below. So we'll just copy this code that is available on this page. Once the code is copied, we'll come to the Zilliqa IDE, which is available at ide.zilliqa.com and we'll create a new file. Let's name this file token and then I'll paste my code. Let's use the Scylla checker to check if this code has any errors. So the Scylla checker says that this code doesn't have any error. So now let's finally deploy this contract. In this example, we'll deploy the contract to the testnet and I'll recommend you as well to deploy the contract first on testnet and play around with it and then finally deploy the contract on mainnet. So let me change my network to testnet on the IDE and I need to first import my account. So here I'm using Zilpay and I'll connect you to my Zilpay account. So Zilpay is this browser extension that is similar to MetaMask. And if you want to get some testnet Zil like I have here, you can go to our faucet. So this is the Zilliqa faucet and you just need to copy your address from Zilpay and paste it here. After you're done with this verification check and you click on run faucet, you'll get your testnet Zil. Coming back to the IDE, now let's finally deploy the contract using this deploy button. Each ZLC2 contract needs to have some initialization parameters and we need to fill these values before we can deploy the contract. For the contract owner, you can choose any address, but it's usually the address that you're deploying your contract from. So I've copied my address here and I'll just paste it. Notice here that this address is in a different format to the address format that you see here. So this address format starts with Zill and this starts with 0x. These are actually interchangeable. And this address is actually equal to this address. It's just written in a different format. Whenever you are interacting with smart contracts, you need to use this address format, which begins with 0x. Name here is the name of the token and it is of type string. In this case, I'll just choose the name as testing. Symbol refers to the symbol of this token contract and it's usually taken from the name. So here I'll choose the symbol as test and it's again of type string. The next initialization parameter that we are going to look at is the decimals parameter. This refers to the decimal places that your token would have. Let me explain this with an example. So here we have the XSTD stablecoin, which is the Singapore dollar stablecoin. And we see that the to total supply of this is 630,029. Now the XSTD stablecoin has six decimal places. And what this does is when you look at its total supply in the contract, the value here is this, it is not 630,000. But if you look at these six zeros, these will be actually after the decimal point. So the supply is 630029, which is 630,029 point and these six zeros. So the decimal places that is mentioned here, they represent the place where the decimal point would go. So if it's six, the decimal point would go on the sixth place from the right. So you need to choose your decimals very carefully. Usually I prefer to go with five or six that usually gets the job done. We don't need many you know, numbers after the decimal, we don't need like 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to say 10, 15, usually five places get the job done. So I'll just keep decimals as five. Since the decimal variable is five, we'll just add the five zeros here. So these zeros will go after the decimal and I'm just adding a space here so that it becomes more clearer the amount of supply that I'm going to choose. So the init supply that I'll choose is 10 million, which is 10 to the power seven. So I'll have seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This gives me a token with init supply of 10 million and then I'll just remove the space. So this is all that we need. These are the parameters that we are, that are needed. So we have the name, the symbol, decimals and init supply. Now let's just finally deploy this contract. So Zilpay opens up and I just click confirm. And now we are waiting for our transaction to get mined.
Okay, so our transaction got confirmed. Now let's look at our contract. We'll find that the token supply here is 10 million as was intended and the decimal spaces is five. And you can see that the token, there are one token holders. So initially the holder will be the address that is the owner of the contract. So this is the address here. And if you look at my Zilpay address, it is it matches this address so this is all about our tutorial on deploying a zrc2 contract if you have any questions you can join our developer groups and we'll be happy to help you okay bye bye